Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I wanted to show you how to put together and build the treasure trove die set. So you get these lovely elements. This all is to coordinate with the slide and reveal dies. And I'll show you an example of a card in a moment. But there's so much that you can do with these. You can just die cut them and colour them with your alcohol markers or pencils. You can use them as a silhouette. So just die cut them in black and have them in the background of your cards. Or you can add little bits of detail to them, which is what I wanted to show you today. So these are all of the dies that you get here. And I've just popped them onto my magnetic sheet, but there's also, and you've also got this one here, but it's covered in ink. And so is the rocks here as well. But you get all of those. So we just kind of work our way around. So first of all, let's do the shipwreck. So if I just bring in this card here, you can see in the background there you've got that lovely shipwreck detail and it's all different colours. You've got the kind of the grey rocks and then you've got some black detail there and then you've got the brown ship itself. Here we've got the treasure chest, we've got the shell, we've got some of the seaweed here. And I'm going to show you some of those elements as well. So first of all you want to die cut the shipwreck in brown. So I've already done these two here. They're all ready to go onto my cards. So I've die cut a whole one there in brown. Then I've die cut it again in grey, but I've just, I've just die cut the bottom rocky part there. And then I'm going to die cut it again. So I've got this black kind of background. Now, you could stick this onto the background of your card, maybe black, then you wouldn't have to do this next piece. But again, just to show you how you do that. So I'm going to take the die. And what I want to do is I don't want to cut right through. I just want there to kind of be like an embossed shape that I can cut around myself because I don't want it to cut away all of this detail. You could just die cut this. You'll have all these as separate pieces and then you can paper piece them back in. But you won't have a back, like there's no surface for you to adhere it to unless you're sticking it onto the card. So if you just fold two pieces of cardstock over like this and then I'm just going to run that one through my die machine. Okay, so it's cut the top one, but underneath here, you'll have this kind of more of an embossed piece. And that's the bit you want, because that's going to act as our background. So I'm just cutting away there. And then some of it may have already cut, which is fine. I'm going to use my snips for this bit. And I'm just going to cut around. Now, I don't need to worry about the boat there, because I've already got that in brown. This is just to become the background of the rocks. So I'm just going to... Just kind of cut around that. If you cut on the embossed line, it will feel quite weak, so it's quite easy to cut through. And then I'm just going to swoop down there. Once you have yours, you'll know exactly what you want to cut. I'm just kind of showing you the process. Excuse my inky fingers. I've been doing a lot of preparing for the samples and stuff, so you can see my fingers there. So now we've got this piece. So what will happen is that can go now over the back, and it's just given us that detail. So you'll be able to see that outline there where you need to cut. So then I'm just going to add my glue just to some of the areas there, just so that I can attach. And then, oh, and then just sit that one. And then I can just cut around this one. You could just follow the same pattern there, but I'm going to cut just above it. Again, there's a slight embossed line where the boat is. So I'm just following that. And then again down here, you can just see. And now that piece, you can stick on top of there. And that's how it all looks when it's stuck down. And then if you would, you know, imagine when you stuck that onto the back of your, the card or wherever you're having it, and you'll see all of that detail. So that's just one idea on how to put together the shipwreck. Then let's do the fishnet. So I've cut this one. I'll show you some other ones that I've got here. So a few other colours. So I've got the grey there with the anchor and the starfish. I've got it in the white and I've got some brown ones there as well. So just die cut that one. It's a nice big die. OK, but you've also got the starfish and you've got that anchor here. So I've die cut it in the grey. Then I've die cut just focusing on the anchor here. And we're just going to cut that one out so you can see exactly where this one is. 
So I'm just going to cut away all of that net there. So we can see we've just freed all that up. Then you just need to cut a little arrow point there. And a lot of it will just come away. And then here you can just see where the edge is there. And then just trim that piece off and then the whole thing comes away. Just take out the centre there and you've got your anchor. And then you can just take your glue and add that onto there. And you'll see on some of them as well I've cut more of the anchor away. So for example here, I've just removed this piece here. You can see there's like an embossed detail. So you've got a thinner style, or you can keep it in. It looks nice as well, so it's kind of like the easier way, I guess. If you want to make it a bit smaller, then you can. And then just lay that down over the top. And then in the die set, you've got a starfish here. If you wanted to, you could die cut this with a little bit of orange behind and then just cut that one out just as I did this. Or just use the one that comes in the die set. Just add a little bit of glue on there. And then... Just sit that one over the top, like so. And then you could distress this a little bit more. You could add your ink to it. You could stamp the Versafine watermark ink, and then you could sprinkle some silver embossing powder, or maybe like a gunmetal color or bronze color. And you could have that all heat embossed, and that would look really nice as well. So there's lots of ways to, you know, distress it even more. But I just wanted to show you how you can get that effect there. And you can see here I've got the scuba diver and that's this die here i've just kept mine as a silhouette he's just going to be in the background on most of the cards but you could also die cut this maybe in a, like a lighter gray and then if you keep the stencil over you can see here you can then use some ink and you can bring out a little bit more detail there with a darker color and when you remove it you would see that but i've kept mine all black but you can see how he cuts there then you've got the the shell and it's really nice when you cut it in a mirrored card or a glitter card. You can see, I love the holographic. You just see all that lovely detail there. But again, use the dies as a stencil. So if you die cut that, you know, in like a pink or, you know, a white even. And then you could just use a colour of your choice over the top there. And then when you remove the die, you'd have all of that detail all over the front. And I've got the plank of wood, which is this die here. And you can see all the detail in the die and I've just highlighted that by going over it with a darker ink just using my blending brush there and I've just gone around the edges and using that same technique I've got all of the seaweed here so I've just die cut all of them in all different greens and then I've just added a little bit of the rustic wilderness and these are the three here and I've got two more left to finish just here and just go in you know whatever color you've cut them if you've gone in with a lighter color just get a darker green and just start it off at the bottom and then just kind of flick it up and you'll just get a nice kind of blend there and it just gives you you know some more detail and it's really quick as well and I recommend you know when you have these dies or with anything that you have really is sit down one afternoon and just do all of this you know batch build kind of build your stash as they say get all this ready which is what I'm doing and then the next day or that afternoon you can then sit down and make the cards and all of this is ready for you to stick to them but you see there just by adding that little bit of green detail even on these ones that's a you know a little bit darker it just lifts them a little bit more so they're all ready to go so the treasure chest is probably my favourite one. The detail with this one is lovely. You can see there, you've got the little handle, which is actually die cut. If I just lift that there, you can see. And then there's just so many little jewels that you can cut and the detail in the die to give you this effect as well, which is what I'm gonna show you next. So first of all, just die cut the treasure chest and you'll see there's that little handle that I just showed you. And then with the die, you'll see there's all this detail in there. So you just want to lock it back into the die cut, like so. And then hold that in place. 
And then I'm going to take the walnut stain on this one. I think I've been using gathered twigs as well. And these are all the Distress Oxide inks. That's the, the gathered twig one there. So a little bit darker. And I'm just brushing it over. Don't worry too much about the middle part because that's where the jewels will go and you've got the dies for that in a moment. So just around all the corners and this is why my fingers are so grubby. <laughs> Lots of inking. And now when I remove that, you get that lovely detail and straight away it's just created that 3D die cut. It looks really cool. And then you can just rinse this under the tap, towel dry it, you know, it's not going to damage them at all. So I'm just going to leave that to one side, let that dry. We're bringing this one here, which I did before. You'll see now I've got all of these pieces. Now I just die cut these in all different colours. So I've got silver, gold, green, red and blue. And it's using this die here. So in this die, you've got your necklace, you've got all your rubies and all the different gems there and the gold coins. But you've also got this little one here. And that one's the handle. So I'm just going to take the gold one here. And I'm just going to go over, it's probably a bit too much glue there. Let's just take some of that off. There we go. And then I'll just pick that one up. And just sit that over the area where it's cut. And you should be able to just still lift that up a bit, like so. So now we've got a little gold handle. And now you just want to cover all of this area with your gems. So I just added a few dots of glue all over. And then just start adding in all of the different rubies, emeralds, sapphires. Okay, so I've just built that up there and then I've left a little gap and I'm just going to attach the necklace here because it looks quite nice having it just hanging over because you get to really see the detail. And then just a little bit of glue on the other end there just to hold that in place. And now that's all ready for you to attach to your card. So again, I'll just bring this one in here. I just popped it on some foam on the front there and then I put some of the the seaweed behind there but it's really effective really fun quite therapeutic actually so i'm going to finish the rest of those off in a moment and then lastly is the rocks so i've already gone ahead and die cut them here so here's your die just die cut that one so i've done a light gray here and then just exactly the same way as i've shown you use your die as a stencil and then I've used the hickory smoke here and pop that one over the top. And then when you take that away, you can see that detail that you get and then hold that in place. Just want to make sure I've got my dirty fingers on it. And I'd just like to add in some more colour around the edges like so and then if you come in with a black you only need the, just a small amount you can just kind of kiss the edges there just along the bottom because that's where it would be darker and then if you grab your die pop that back in again and if you have any small little blending brushes you can just come in, just add a little bit more shadow just to the corners there, just the edges. And because the oxides take that little bit longer to dry, they should blend quite nicely together. So now when I remove that, you can see there we've just got, you know, two kind of shades there. And then you've got that darker detail along the bottom. And you can always go in if you want to make it a little bit darker. You see there you get that rock detail 
So it was just a quick video showing you how to build those dies and you might have some other dies from other companies in your stash that have this kind of stenciling detail and you've never used them in that way before. So it's a really nice thing to do and it just helps, like I said, lift them and build those die cuts a bit more. Also with the seaweed, you can see the stencil detail here. So you could just pop that one in like so and then go over with a darker green and you'll get all that stenciling detail there. So thank you for watching. This video is going to go up first and then it'll be the 5x7 and the 6x6 slide and reveal. So I think it's good to do this bit first. Build everything, get it all ready. You can see here I've got all my stamps and dies ready to go. So I'm going to add all these into there in a minute. I'm going to finish the treasure chest off because all of that is pretty much done now. So look out for those videos coming soon. All of this product will be linked in the description box below. And thank you for watching as always. Take care. Bye.